To use liquid methionine, a feed mill manager must look at only four places. Storing, dosing, spraying, monitoring. That I can do. But how can I be certain that the feed I produce will be of the same quality as with powder methionine? Very simple. It all starts in the mixer. Liquid methionine is sprayed directly to the mash feed while mixing. To obtain a good quality feed, you must use the correct size, type, and number of nozzles. And how do I do that? Edisio experts define these parameters to ensure a proper distribution of liquid methionine in the feed. Once positioned, it's done for good. Edisio recommends a working temperature above 15 degrees Celsius with enough pressure to form a proper spray with flatbed nozzles of the proper size and angle. This recommendation applies to paddle, ribbon, or plow mixers. It is important to mention that nozzle orientation will also contribute to the feed quality. One must choose to spray where the feed is most vigorously agitated. We study individually each particular case. Okay, are there any issues with buildup? As long as the droplets have the right size and number, they will be absorbed by the feed particles, avoiding any buildup. Moreover, methionine is added in small quantities compared to other liquids, so there is no reason for it. Here is an example from one of our clients. When adding liquid methionine following our recommendations, no fouling is observed. And what about the mixing time? I mean, when would you advise to spray? We recommend to spray in a short period while the dry ingredients are mixing. In most cases, the dry ingredients need to be mixed longer than the needed spraying time and so the overall cycle is not affected. I will use other liquids in my feed. Can I add them at the same time as methionine? We recommend not to mix methionine with other additives before addition in feed. But you can spray the liquid simultaneously as long as you use a dedicated line for methionine.